What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be reviewing the 2018 Acro TLX A-Spec. This is a super cool car that I've had before but I sold it, I don't even know why. But it's really cool and I have kind of forgot how quick it is but we're going to be talking all about it and a lot of its detail in this video. You go to the side of the light, everything's pretty detailed here. A nice little orange thingy reflector type thing and just the headlight just is really nice. If you go down to the fog light, it's just like a little white thingy. It's not that special. <laughs> but it does look very nice. I mean, it looks nice. You got a nice little fancy thingy down here. I guess the A spec for Acura means like the sporty type one. You know, your grill looks very nice. It's a really cool looking grill here. I don't, you can't see through it, but like it's really cool looking if you look at it like that. You got your big Acro symbol, like every single Acro has the gigantic symbol. License plate, it doesn't have any numbers, but it's there. Go to other light, same thing, just, you know, opposite. Still very detailed. You go to your wheels, they are pretty detailed, but they're not, they're just a picture, so I can't really talk too much about the detail, but the tires have detail, which is nice. The tires, like the part that touches the road, does not have any detail at all, it's just, you know, tire. Go to the back, same thing. We looked at the side. Um, the doors look nice. They do have some like little, you know, non-perfectnesses and a little tiny cracks in them, but they're totally not noticeable. There's like the space right there, which is not that big of a problem. The first thing that I really noticed that was kind of weird about this car is the door handles. What in the world is this? <laughs> I'm just being 100% honest. What is that? But it, it doesn't. It kind of looks like a door handle, so can't really complain. But that's the door handles for your Acro. You go to the back of the car, normal Acro lights, because I've seen this Acro in real life, but it does look a little weird because the trunk, like, it looks like it's bloated. It looks like you, like, put something in it that's, like, making it, like, about to explode. It looks like a balloon. You got your exhaust back here, bumper, everything's pretty detailed. Your head, your tail lights, actually, are, they have detail, but they're not, you know, that detailed, you know what I mean? Go to the other side, same thing as the other side. You don't have any mirror lights, but you do have a mirror right there, which is nice. We're going to show you all the lights right now. That was the startup sound. The running lights are beautiful. They are, look at these running lights, on point, perfectly lined up and everything like that. Headlights. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't know what was happening there. But the headlights are actually a couple of these little squares, which is awesome. I thought they would just be, you know, the regular circle, like one little circle. But the headlights are actually very detailed and on point. When you go to the back, you see how my headlights are often is just running lights? These backlights stay on 24-7. I really don't get it. And same with the Subaru. Both of these cars, when they came out, they just had random back running lights. And in real life, these lights are the lights that turn on when you're like, when you turn on the headlights. Not like they just stay on like that. I've never seen a car in real life or this game that the backlights stay on 24-7, but that's how it is. These are the lights that come on when you turn on your headlights, which is different. Um, these are your brake lights. You don't have anything in the window or anything like that, just those brake lights. Here's your turn signals, just like that. These are all of your lights like that. This is your turn signal, so it looks really nice if I turn off the headlight. It's that light, and if I get out the car, it's that light too, you know. Looks pretty detailed. I mean, it's not perfect because you can see how, like, one up there, then you go across like that. So, but it's pretty nice, and I like how it, like, it goes over top of the running light like that. One of my favorite things about this car is the acceleration, and just ignore that your feet are, like, getting scraped off as you drive. But I really love the acceleration of this car so much. It's just so amazing. And my ears are dying. The engine sound is pretty unique and nice on this car. Like... There are other cars do not sound like this engine. Oh, there's no bottom. Oh, forgot to say the car does not have a bottom. So, but this is all you see. But if you look under the car, there's not much at all. You don't even see the top of the car. It's just a spaceship. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go around like 60 miles per hour. I'm not gonna floor it to give away how good the acceleration is. We're just gonna do a break, just full break right here. And brakes are very good. On point brakes. See, it will stop you in time before you kill somebody. We're gonna go ahead and do a f acceleration test. So we're gonna floor it zero to sixty. And three, two, one. And we're already at sixty. That was really, really quick. But we're gonna go and do the. We're gonna go. We're now gonna do the swerve test. See, it's hard to get it to turn at 
first, but then it starts just to spin out, just goes crazy. <laughs> but like when I'm going at high speed, I'm gonna like turn all the way to the right. It goes really slow, but once it starts to turn, you start to spin out. So don't try to do a bunch of swerving. This is like for like one time swerves. Don't like keep on swerving or you're gonna spin out. Let's do a high speed test. I'm a little afraid for this. Oh God. All right, not bad. You just went over. You didn't flip over or oversteer. You just went out of line a little bit. Now we're gonna do what we regularly do when we're done reviewing the tests and stuff. We drive the car to the other side of the map just to show, you know, the everyday use of this car and see how it is. If I sound tired, it's 12.06 a.m. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> bear with me. I just really- oh, I don't even have my headlights on. I feel horrible. I'm not the best role model when I'm driving cars in Greenville sometimes, so don't follow this. Do not, do not drive without your lights on. It's very dangerous, people. Lord, how did I even forget that? But they do look really nice. But they're kind of weird. If you look at them from a distance or something, at first they were literally, like, not there. I was so confused. I was like, what? Yeah, but I love the acceleration. It is really good. But I think the Apex would take off faster. I really do. Today we're gonna pull into Twist. That's where we're gonna, we're, we're gonna park. Um, park and brake. It's good. It's good to spin out. I can do a little example of that real quick. If you're going to high speed and you turn and then use your park and brake, you can do a nice little drift, you know. It's really cool to do that. But that would be the end of this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And, you know, for more videos. And I will see you guys next time.